Hey everybody, just going to do a little video on our pasture management and how things are going with the custom grazing herd that we have here this summer. We are 22 days in, actually 20 days in really, for our grazing year. And we've gone through about 60 acres of grass. And we've got a herd of about 70 head of cattle here. So it's a nice size herd. We're going through about 3 acres a day. And the key behind everything we're doing right now is we want to leave as much behind as possible. And what this is going to allow us to do, or will allow the grass to do, is it's going to regenerate a lot quicker. So when you leave the, the bottom two-thirds of the plant, so you're only grazing the top third, um, that has benefits for the soil and for the cows. So that top third of the plant is the most tender, it's the highest in protein. And the bottom two thirds is coarser. And it's also required for that plant to grow back. So the taller sward of grass you leave covering the ground after you've grazed it, the more moisture is gonna be retained in the soil. So the more resilient you're gonna to be to drought. And also, if you think about the processes that drive grass growth, um, you have solar energy, sunlight, water from rain, and then the nutrients in the soil. So if we can look at one of those three things, solar energy, and that's collected through photosynthesis. If you think of your plant as a solar panel, the more you leave, the more energy it can absorb and the better the, the regrowth will be. So that's what we're trying to do this first pass through the farm is leave as much as possible and it's not wasted in any way shape or form even if we were to finish up grazing for the year and leave all of this grass matted down it's not really a concern to me it's going to keep the ground moist it's going to build organic matter and a lot of this stuff is going to grow back so anyway that's just a quick video of of why we move the cows quickly first thing in uh, the grazing season. So a little bit of a look down towards my boots here. Look at the grass we're leaving behind. It's over my waist. So you can see that a lot of these plants have been nipped right at the top. A lot of them have been left. But you can see they've chomped the tips off it. The cows are walking as they graze, looking for the most tender, most palatable and nutritious uh, vegetation they can find. And you can see they took the top off of this. That's some orchard grass, I believe. And a lot of this has gone to seed. It's not the end of the world. Um, you could come through here with a bush hog and snip some of this below the seed heads and it would spur a little bit more of uh, vegetative growth. We're not going to do that here. This uh, few acre section we have to leave open, um, leaving a laneway back to the water source. So um, not everything's going to be perfect, but that's farming. But you can see a lot of the vegetation's getting matted down, stomped on. All of that's going to build the soil. And after it gets stomped down, you can see here comes the clovers more of a short stem uh, species of grass. So it, it enjoys, um, or it does well uh, in a pasture that has been grazed quickly, had the tops cut off it basically, and then left to regenerate. So rest is really the key to maximizing the number of days and the number of cows you can graze on your pasture.